presentation of the Tire Kingdom Gator Nationals brought to you by Full Throttle. Grab a Full Throttle energy drink and feel the energy at work. Tire Kingdom, home of the guaranteed lowest price. We will beat anyone's price on tires or you get $200. See store for details. And Hampton Hotels. At Hampton, we love having you here. Oh, check them out. Some great looking cars, Mike Dunn, at the Gator Nationals. I love the Gator Nationals. Got the street rods, had a little mini cackle fest or something for the entire family here in Gainesville. And Gary Gerald caught up with Karen Stouffer after her semifinal win. Karen Stouffer, you start a new year by going to the finals. How good a bike have you got today? And though you won't have lane choice in your mind, good enough to get a win and a Wally? Yeah, you know, I think so. The boys have been great on tuning the bike up. You know, we ran good qualifying in both lanes, so I think whatever they're going to give it, we're just going to race the race. If we get the, if we don't get the lane that we've been running in all day today, then we'll be fine. We'll just tune it for that lane, and we'll give Eddie the race. Wish you well. Thank you. Time for the full throttle, hard-working crew. Here's Mike Dunn. Let's hand out the hardware. Well, the top fuel's got to be Del Worsham. The team's worked hard all winter to get this race car on track, and then they had to work hard after this semifinal win to get Del Worsham to the final <laughs> round. Big old pit thrash there. Then how about Funny Car? Funny Car got to go with Cruz Pedregon. I mean, they've been working hard all last season, and. The team really did a great job of getting that car to go down the racetrack at some good numbers after coming off that number one qualifying in Pomona. Then Pro Stock, got to give it to Roger Brogdon. Friday, setting that National ET Laps time record, 649.5. Great job by that entire team. Then in Pro Stock Motorcycle, how about Eddie Craywood? Just misses going 200 miles per hour, 199 miles per hour, and gets to the final round also on that Harley. The team did an, a great job all weekend long. And speaking of Eddie Craywick, here he is on the line against Karen Stouffer. This is the Pro Stock Motorcycle Final. Both Eddie and Karen have won here at the Gators. Boy, I love this matchup coming into this this final round. You see the road for Eddie Craywick. He's been making some very good runs on that Harley Davidson. Obviously, that big horsepower to be able to run 199, 198 miles per hour. But Karen Stouffer, she's been good on the lights all day long. She's been making consistent runs. This should be a great matchup here. 64 races since she last won a race. That was Atlanta, 2007. Both riders taking their time staging. Remember, it's so critical on these motorcycles. Very easy to red light. Oh, by Karen two, red light. By two thousandths of a second. Oh, oh no. man. That hurts. That really hurts. Eddie Craywick, the defending champion, makes it two in a row. Let's go to Dave Reef. Out here is Matt Hines, the guy who helps tune that new national speed record, 199.26 mile an hour. Where did all that speed come from in the Harley Davidson this weekend? Uh, a lot of hard work. It was a long off season. You know, we worked, tried to work on our consistency because it seemed like every final round last year we just fell off. And uh, you know, Eddie just did a great job all weekend. He's riding, riding great, and it's just awesome to get the win two years in a row. Congratulations on the win. Congratulations on getting engaged to oh, Miss Hillary Well. That's neat. Hillary Will, top fuel driver. The Pro Stock Final, Greg Anderson and Jason Line. They have both won here prior. Jason, the last two years. Nice burnouts. And Jason coming off that win at Pomona at the season opening Winter Nationals. It'd be great for him to be, get two majors right off the bat. Let's go to John Kernan. And down with Eddie Craywick. And Eddie, she red lit, but you've had a good weekend. I mean, what a way to start the season. Man, I sure have had a great weekend. You know, we came in here, lost the national record, got the mile an hour record. This Screaming Eagle, Vance and Hines, Harley Davidson running awesome. Matty Clutches tuned me to a win here, you know. It's a little nickname that he's got amongst some friends. But, you know, hats off. I got a lot of pressure on me because all the Jersey boys were out here winning and, and, and really kicking butt. And, and I'm like, man, I got I to gotta do this for Jersey, you know, for all my guys back home, WP and all my fans at Raceway Park. That was for you guys. You know what? Hats off to my whole crew this weekend, everybody. I love my wife. I haven't seen her for a week and a half. I got a little baby girl. Last year when I won this race, I said baby needs a new pair of shoes. Well, she's getting ready to walk, and now she really does need a new pair of shoes. So thank you, guys. 
Thank you, Coca-Cola, NHRA, for supporting us for 60 years out here. We're just out here doing the best we can to put on a great show for you fans. Thank you. Speaking of a great show, 15th time all-team KB final with Greg having won 10 in the prior 14 meetings. Up cars, the whole, whole shot. shot. Back to back. Pomona, now the Gators for Jason Line. 655, 211 miles an hour. I tell you, I didn't think this was going to happen on a whole shot went out of the right hand lane because Jason Line had the lane choice. He'd been running two or three hundreds quicker all day long than Greg Anderson. Greg makes a very nice pass in that left hand lane, but he came up short on the tree as Jason had three hundredths of a second advantage off the starting line and then about half a car length at the stripe. Pro stock close, Dave Reed. Now, one of the reasons that KB crew running so good, Jason Line, Greg Anderson, they've got their man back, Jeff Purley, who left the team three years ago to open up a business, but you were so instrumental in the team's early success. What does it mean to you to be back out here to help this team win the first two races? I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's certainly not one guy. It is a team effort. If it wasn't for Rob and Greg wanting to do something again, I wouldn't be here. Um, but it, it's just the working relationship that people have. It's people. It's not power. It's not parts. It's people. Congratulations. Thank you. Stat guy special Gary Gerald. He now becomes the 11th guy in the 41 year history of this class, Jason Line, that is, to win the first two races of the year. And you talk about back to back victories with a bad back, if you'll pardon the play on words. When you had the work done on your back, the surgical process six weeks ago, did you have any hint, any clue that you might be able to win the first two events of a new season? No, not a chance, but you know, I said it before, I'm going to say it again. This, this car, it, it, it was like Cadillac, absolutely like a Cadillac today. And uh, I just uh, can't thank the, the Summit crew enough. They did a great job. And uh, Wilson Manifolds, we got some extra power from those guys. And uh, it's just uh, just a great day. And uh, to beat my teammate in the final, awesome deal. And this is for you, Ken Black. So uh, just a heck of a day, that's for sure. And you did it on a hole shot. And oh, I whisper that as your teammate comes up. <laughs> you swung for the fence. I did. I didn't mean Well, Jason Line, it can't be bad when it's back to back. And it is for Jason. Look over in the staging lanes. We're talking Nitro getting ready. You see Mike Neff's car ready to go. Cruz Pedregon, don't go away.